Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I make the techie side of blogging easy. So if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube video uh, channel, I highly recommend that you do. What I do is every other Wednesday, I create a video that I believe will help you not only start, but will help you grow and monetize your own WordPress blog. So in today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a quick video that shows you how I use the Updraft Plus plugin to create backups of my website. Now I've created a tutorial on how I use Backup Buddy before, but I also actually switched from the Backup Buddy to the Updraft Plus on my personal blog. So I'm going to show you inside of my local host site. This is my site set up on the uh, local host and it is a duplicate of my live site. It might have some, some minor changes and things that are not up to date. That's because I'm actually not keeping this one updated. I actually just play around with it and make changes on it so that way I can take it to my live site. So let's go into the plugins and if you don't have a backup plugin yet, I highly recommend that you get one, whether it be the same one that I'm using or find one that does back up your sites. So if you haven't re uh, installed the plugin, what you'll do is you'll come over here to plugins. So you'll go to add new and then we're going to come over here and what you would do is you would search for updraft plus. Now it is a free plugin. Um, you can choose to upgrade to the premium. I am using the free, uh, the premium plugin, but I started off with the, uh, free plugin and it does a great job of backing up your website. So you shouldn't have to worry about updating it to the premium if you choose not to. So hopefully everything will work fine and I'll be able to show you through the whole, walk you through the whole tutorial of how to set this up and how to get going on creating your backups. Cause you do not want to rely 100% on your hosting account to take up, to take care of your backups. That's something that you need to do. So that way you can store them remotely. And if anything does ever happen to your website, then you can go ahead and take care of that. So it is taking a little bit of time. Let's see if I can do this again and see if it'll move a little bit quicker. So we're going to go updraft plus let's come over here and just type in updraft and see what comes up. And if this doesn't work, then I'll pause this video and log into a different local host site and kind of show you the process. So hold on just a minute. Let me pause this. All right, so I opened up another uh, of my local hosts. Um, it is a, still on my local host. It's not my live site. And I like to use these type of sites to play around with. And this would be the plugin right here. I just came over here to plugins, add new, and then typed in updraft. And then you can see right here, it says updraft WordPress backup plugin. So what you would do is just go ahead and if you didn't have it installed, which I already have it now, you can see that it would say install now. You'd click on that and then you would click on activate. But since it's already installed on my site, I'm just going to come over here to install plugins because you can see that it is asking me to update this plugin. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how you would update the plugin or update any plugin regardless of whether it needed to be update. So we're back in here in the plugins dashboard and we're going to find the updraft plus, which is right here. So we're going to click on update. Now the cool thing about using the premium version is that every time you click on the update, it's always bringing this up and asking you if you want to back up the plugin or back up your site before you actually proceed with the backup. So what I usually do on my live site is I'll go ahead and click on proceed with update and then we're just going to let it update. Now, anytime you do an update for any of your plugins, it's going to automatically create a backup of your site. As I said, I do not know if the free version does this. If every time you update your site or update a plugin or update the database, um, but the premium does do this. So I'm going to pause this video, let it do its update, and then I'll be back and show you how I set it up. All right. So as you can see, the plugin has been updated. So we would just, if you had more than this, several plugins to update, you would go ahead and click on update now, or you would update them all at one time. But this tutorial isn't on how to update a plugin. I actually just want to show you how I set up the the uh, settings on this. So now that the plugin has been updated, I'm going to show you my settings. So what we would do is come over here to settings once we install the plugin, and we're going to set this up to automatically back up our site 
every day. Now I like to do daily backups. You can choose to do weekly, monthly, whatever you choose. But I recommend that you do at least every day or at least once a week, depending on how much content you write on your blog. That way you always have an up-to-date backup in case you need to restore that backup. So as you can see right now, I have existing backups 21. Um, I have mine scheduled for March 24th, which is today, to, to back up at 10.05. These, this is a backup that I do every day. So let me just show you how you would set this up. So what you'll do is you'll come over here and you come over here to settings. And then what we're just going to do is we're going to go existing backups. This is where all you would, this is where you would find your backups if you ever needed to restore it. And you can see that it tells you right here, this is my database. And then this is my themes, uploads, and others. And then this is the plugins, themes, and uploads. So it'll tell you what backup is inside of each of these backups. And if you wanted to restore it, then you would go ahead and click on restore. But we're not going to do that right now. I'm just showing you around. So to set it up, you come over here to settings. And you can see that I have mine set up to backup on a daily basis, starting from 10.05. And then I like to keep at least four backups. So you can keep as many as you want. And then I keep mine, all my backups on Amazon S3. Um, not sure if you have all these options on the free, free version, but I'm just kind of giving you a run through. It'll pretty much be the same thing. It might have a few differences, but if you're using the free version, you may not see everything that I see, but you should have most of these options. So as you can see, I actually choose to keep my backups on Amazon S3, which I absolutely love. And it doesn't cost a lot of money to keep your backups on there. And the great thing is that you will always have a remote backup in case anything does happen. Then you don't have to worry about getting your backup from your hosting account. You actually can just log into your Amazon S3 and access your backups. Of course, you can choose to keep them on Dropbox as well too if, you, if that's the way you want to go. But either way, I would choose one of these remote options and choose to keep your backups on that. So as you can see, my manual backups, I retain. This means that if I come in here and I choose to create a backup for whatever reason, then I'll go ahead and re, uh, create a backup and it will be stored in my manual backups. And then I keep three backups of my manuals. Um, so that way I always have three backups available. And then it says for backups older than 12 weeks, keep no, no more than one backup every one week. So if I wanted to add another retention rule, I could just add, a, add it right here by clicking on this and then I could add another retention rule, but I'm not going to do that. So that's basically what you do. And then you just, you just connect your Amazon S3 and then you get your secret key from Amazon and then um, just paste it in the options below here. I'm not gonna scroll up because I don't want you to see my secret key from Amazon. But it, as soon as you sign up for with Amazon S3, you'll get a secret key and then you just fill out the information below and it'll connect it. And your backups will automatically be, start being stored on Amazon S3 and you won't have to worry about it. So advanced tools, um, these, I really don't use any of this stuff, so I'm not really sure what this stuff is, but I do know that on the free version, I don't know if you actually have any of this stuff but I think for the lock settings right here, it says to look, lock access to Updraft Plus settings page. So what we could do is just read more about how this works. And then you could kind of see if this is something that you wanted to do. Since I'm the only one who has access to my live site, I really don't use any of the advanced settings. Um, so I really can't run you through any of this stuff. Like I said, if you did get the premium version, you would just have to go through each of these settings and kind of see what they what they are. And then the premium extensions, you can see that I have access to all the add-ons. To tell you the truth, I have not used any of these. I basically just use the Updraft Plus for my backups. So if you do purchase these, if you do purchase a premium, I believe you do get all the add-ons. But like I said, I've never used any of these except, well, the time and scheduling, I do use that. But as far as like um, right here where it says... Um, where did I see that? Import a WordPress backup made by another backup plugin. I've never used that, so I couldn't tell you how any of these add-ons work. What I recommend that if you do purchase this and you do want to see what these add-ons do, then you just play around with it, set up a site on localhost, 
play around with it, see what each add-on does, and then you can kind of get a feel for how the plugin works, the ins and outs. The main purpose of this video was to show you that there is a plugin out there. It is a free version, and I have used the free version of this uh, plugin, and it does work really good. You do not have to upgrade to the premium. I just chose to do that because I wanted to make sure that my site was always backed up. And as soon as I made a backup, I wanted that op or as soon as I made an update to any portion of my site, I wanted that option to be able to back it up. So anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Um, if you do decide to pick up this plugin and start creating your own backups, I've left a link in the description below. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns on how this works, comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you do. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to visit me on my blog at susanvelez.com and sign up for my free blogging course as well too. I'll talk to you later. Have a great one and I'll talk to you in two weeks.